to the lounge, a brand new, spanking, shiny lifestyle show just for you, the people of Bedfordshire. I'm Carrie Stane. And I'm Chris Keenan. And on today's show, we're going to be keeping you on track with those New Year's resolutions, looking at lingerie ahead of Valentine's and chatting to local band White Line Diaries. All that and a whole load more. Plus, we've got a local fashion icon dropping by, which I'm really looking forward to. Well, first of all, back to New Year's resolutions. We've got our roving reporter, Kelly, here. Hello. Have you got any New Year's resolutions? Or did oh, you? <laughs> well, I kind of set a typical one, really, to get fit, healthy, and, and yeah, do a bit more. And how's that going for you? Not do well, must try harder. So you've already, you've already gone off the wagon, have you? Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard to, like, stay focused with stuff like that. Keep that motivation going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've been out in the streets, haven't you? I have. I was, in 2013, the top three New Year's resolutions set mm. were to um, exercise more, eat healthy and stop smoking. So I kind of wanted to go out into Bedford and find out for myself. Should we take a look at what yeah. we found? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Get fit again. Read more. Decided to do the dry January thing. Drink less. To lose weight and stick to it and to reach my goal weight this year. Uh, basically to tone up and to like do well, like my A-levels. Well, I've got targets, basically, so... Exercise more. It's not to get the hump when Spurs get beat. Probably more video gaming. Eat more healthily. I've stopped smoking this year. Uh, and I also do adventures all over the world, so I decided I'd do a load more adventures this year. I love the little bit with the little boy who says he's actually going to play more video games. I'm not quite sure how his mum and dad are going to feel that. His mum and dad were like stood way to the back when yeah. you said that. I actually like the guy at the end though that, that talks about doing things that he, he enjoys and doing more of those. And I kind of wonder whether sometimes that's perhaps where New Year's resolutions fit better is to do that. To do achievable ones. Yeah. yeah um, statistically, by the second week of January, funny enough, most people have stopped, like they've either failed or they've just given up. Um, so I think people lose motivation. So with you in mind, keeping you motivated, we have got just the man to help you. Not quite Mr Motivator himself because he's not wearing the lycra. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Simon Jesse Williams. Very much, <laughs> you promised me lycra. What's going on? Oh, so, so, next, next time, promise next lycra. Next time. All right, Simon. Welcome to the lounge. Thank right. you for joining us. Now, tell us a little bit about what you do. Um, I run a, uh, basically a fitness company within Milton Keynes. Uh, we do outdoor sort of sessions, and there's also a personal training gym, sports therapy clinic. Um, so, and we also offer nutritional workshops. So, try and hit. Uh, most areas of helping people get their uh, lifestyles the way that they want so them. Quite an all-rounder then. Say again, quite an all-rounder bowl. Yeah, guys. I mean, we even just started coaching now, so we're starting to do sort of like the mindset coaching, oh, okay. learning how the brain works and hormones and all this sort of stuff. So, getting complicated, but no, it's really interesting stuff, and it's great being able to help people in every step of their, what they're yeah, trying to do yeah. with their journeys. Quite a rewarding job, I imagine. Oh, totally, it's fantastic. Yeah. I've been doing it ten years now, and I've had some fantastic stories to tell. If you just want to be someone who's fit and healthy and well, it's really easy to do just something so basic, uh, just to keep yourself like, uh, in, in a way that keeps you fit, healthy, well, a, a slightly flatter stomach, slightly more energised. You've got a basic plan, haven't you, essentially? Well, of course, exactly. Yeah. The reality is, what you've got to think about is your activity levels are going to reflect how you actually feel throughout the day. So if you're particular in a sedentary job where you sat down all day on the computer, then you come home, sit down, watch TV, you're, you're sitting down all the time. Yeah, you're not releasing any endorphins into you. You're keeping yourself relatively s sat down. So but that's when you start to feel sluggish, slow, tired, lazy, yeah. all those kind of things that kind of make you feel, oh, I just wish I could be fit. The really simplest thing to do is just take... I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to interrupt. interrupt. I'm sorry. Something I really want to ask, really interested in this, um, this HIT training that a lot of people hit. do. So what does HIT stand for then? HIT stands for when you give someone that, when they're not going to do it. No, I'm okay. Well, apart from that. It stands for high intensity interval training. And do you, okay. do you practice that yourself? Uh, yeah, well, it's stuff that's, I mean, we do that within our outdoor company, and it's certainly something that I do. It's, it's got to be part, you can't do it every single day, because you, the whole deal. Can you explain sort of what it actually entails? Well, how basically, is it, how what is you're it trying to do is you're trying to do something for an extremely short period of time, but extremely high intensity. Okay. So, um, I'll tell you what, let's give a little demonstration. I wasn't going to do too much here because I don't want to fall out here. Okay, so if you think about like when you sort of go, go for a run or something like that, normally most people do that where they're going nice and gentle, they can chat with their friend while they're doing it. If you take it up to the next level, then you start getting to the point where you can't, you find it a bit more breathless, you start getting a sweat. But high intensity is where you're just going all out, absolutely mental. Hard and as fast as you can. You don't give people to do short that. For, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you, if you can do that for an hour, you're an Olympic athlete. I Good luck. <laughs> 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 if, if you could do it for an hour, you're not doing 
hit training. Well, you know, exactly. That's just it. I mean, you're talking about 20 to 30 seconds. Then you can just bring it down and give yourself a squat to get your recovery so you're still getting your muscles isolated. And you can even bring other exercise into it. So if you think of a press up, if you do those as fast as you possibly can, bring them down and then just get that hold again for 20, 30 seconds. It's, it's make me tired just watching it. <laughs> I'm getting a sweat I'm on exhausted, I'll be honest you. right now. Um, but the deal with that kind of training is you're doing it to an intensity that requires you to have to rest. Yeah. When you do that, your fat burning properties go through the roof. If, if you just kind of sit back and expect it to happen, um, you, you, yeah, it's not, gonna, it's not going to. You've got to put the homework in, you've got to do the research, you've got to put the effort levels in. Okay, so small goals that you can achieve, get outside, make use of what we've got available to you for free. Absolutely. And also, is there things on your website that people can kind of get inspiration from and follow at home? Absolutely. I mean, I mean my main big business is fitmk.com. So that's like okay. our, our outdoor training. That's where we have a lot of group training. We have a lot of people going on there. I mean, the reality is you get a lot of my instructors going onto that um, page and they'll obviously... Um, give their own tips and motivation. So it's not just me, um, there's about 10 of us. Um, so uh, you, you get different uh, ideas from different people. And on top of that, um, there's a great community within our members. I mean, so they do arrange their own little sort of... And uh, anything that's community is always going to give you more morale, absolutely, obviously. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And I think that's just it. You're, you've got to try and put yourself in a position where you feel comfortable and you feel like, um, yeah, I can keep doing that. Uh, if you're starting to find anything is holding you back, then you need to look at whether that's something that you should be doing. Okay. Yeah. Simon, thank you very much for joining us. Now, we've covered the fitness stuff. A little bit later on, we're going to be looking at healthy meals that you can cook at home in our Challenge the Chef feature, so don't go Looking anywhere. Forward to that one. <laughs>